Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Jasmine Unfiltered. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about different ways to be alone and absolutely thrive. These go from things like hobbies to spending time with yourself. I feel like alonement is something that isn't talked about enough. Quite a couple of different ways on how to spend time alone. So let's get straight into it. The first way that you can spend more time alone is by making a new Spotify playlist. I feel like I do this every couple of months. Making a new Spotify playlist and like putting thought behind the title of the playlist and the actual cover of the playlist on Spotify is such a fun way to spend time by yourself. The next thing is to read a book or even start a new book. Reading as well can be an escape for people where you just kind of turn off and switch off from the rest of the world. Next thing that I said was go for a hot girl walk or a hot girl run, especially if you're near the beach. I feel like that is so much fun to do. You could go exploring at a national park they're always fun as well is journal out all those emotions i feel like journaling can be done in so many different ways it can be done in little dot points it can be done in like completely destructing everything about how you're feeling you can look up on pinterest as well a whole bunch of different journaling prompts and like ask yourself questions and do reflective questions about yourself book yourself in for a beauty treatment whether that's going to get a massage or going to get a facial these kind of things are like little luxuries but it's so nice to do quarterly throughout the year and actually like really put some like love and attention into yourself things like getting your nails done or getting your hair done or your lashes go to a sauna or a spa have an everything shower everything showers can be doing your exfoliant in the shower it can be shaving your legs whatever it is do your everything shower doing your skincare ritual you can clean your bedroom or even clean your bathroom having a bubble bath or a magnesium bath to help those muscles make a vision board making a vision board honestly is one of the best things to do like I swear if you actually make a vision board it makes all of your manifestations and things come true a lot of people don't make vision boards and because they can't see what they want to achieve they don't actually try go on a drive to a certain destination you could totally do this by yourself if you have a place that you've been wanting to visit for a while go for a day trip there make a scrapbook whether that is making a scrapbook of your 20s or making a scrapbook of your childhood or family members or even your friends Making a scrapbook is such a good activity that takes so much time. Just be warned, scrapbooking can be expensive, but it is such a good reward at the end of the day. Another thing that's an amazing idea is gardening, whether that's outdoor in your backyard or putting a pot plant in your room just to give it some more life. Cook your favorite meal or bake something new whether that's a new recipe or you just want to do baking. I love making myself some cookies. Go to the beach. That's a really good thing to do alone because you can go swimming, you can go surfing, you can literally just sit on the beach and read a book, have some time alone. I feel like everyone gravitates to go towards the beach when they want to spend time alone and when they want to think. It's actually been scientifically proven that looking at a big blue sea of water is it really improves your mental health. If you do it for like 30 minutes every day, it improves your mental health. I'm actually at the beach right now and there are so many people at sunset coming down to the beach because it's been such a nice day and it's a public holiday today. Learn a new language on Duolingo. <laughs> I feel like this is one that a lot of people forget. You can literally just spend your alone time by learning a new language and then eventually you can travel to that country alone. That's another thing that you can do alone, so solo travel. You have, to be, you have to put a little bit more thought into that, but you could totally go on a solo trip, whether that's just for a weekend trip around your state. You can go on a staycation by yourself. So going to somewhere where you already currently live and renting out an Airbnb, that's a great way to spend time alone. What's your favorite comfort movie? Oh my God, I swear this one helps me every single time. I forget how much comfort movies actually genuinely help me. Watching your favorite comfort movie with all your favorite snacks is literally the best feeling. Try a new workout class, whether that's Pilates, yoga, it could be Zumba, it could be a pole dancing class. I tried out pole dancing the other day and I literally have bruises all over my body. It's so bad. You could also try out a new workout class at your gym. 
and just join in a workout class there like I know that they've got hit programs I know that places have like group workouts or one-on-one -on -one workout you could totally book yourself in for a personal training session spend some time at the gym I feel like this is such a good thing and I think this is something that a lot of people do you never know why someone is at the gym like never you never know if someone's working on their weight or if they're insecure about something or if they're literally just there to clear their own head I feel like a lot of people that I see at the gym, I don't always pay attention to everyone around me. Sometimes I'm in my own little zone, but I know that there's certain people around me that are literally just there for their mental health. Another thing that you can do is listen to a podcast, whether you're in the car driving or you're going for your hot girl walk, listening to a podcast is an amazing thing because it either switches off your mind completely or it helps your mind think about the bigger picture and think about other things, depending on what kind of podcast that you're listening to, is set new goals. Whether that's setting new goals for the month, fun activity that you can do, and I'm pretty sure you can get it from Kmart, is a paint by numbers set. You can watch the sunset or sunrise, like I'm doing right now. I'm literally watching the sun set whilst I'm filming this video. You can start a YouTube channel. It might take a while, and maybe you're just posting videos just because you want to post videos, but like editing a YouTube video and actually making the content itself can be quite hard and quite difficult. This isn't technically by yourself, but spend some time with your pets. Go to a bookstore or visit a library. Do some online shopping, whether you buy it or not, pop it all in cart and do some window shopping. Make a new Pinterest board, have a nap. I feel like this one's self-explanatory. Some of us really, really deserve a nap. I'm not gonna lie. And if it's a really bad day, have a nap. Go stargazing. If it's a clear night and you can see stars, go to a footy field, put out a blanket, cuddle up with yourself, have some snacks, listen to some music, and just stargaze. Have a picnic by yourself. Go to a park, whether you bring stuff to paint, whether you color in, that's another one, coloring in is such a therapeutic thing to do by yourself however I cannot color inside the lines sometimes I get really angry coloring in so probably not the best one for me you can go bird watching my sister literally has like this little app on her phone where she'll take a photo of maybe it is just normally on your phone I don't know you take a photo of the bird and then it tells you all this information about the birds my sister enjoys it she didn't think she'd enjoy it she loves it go visit a waterfall or like rock pools or anything like that such a fun thing to do the next two are so hard to do by yourself but if you can do them by yourself you can honestly do anything in this life go to a movie theater by yourself and watch a movie i love it my mom's done it i've done it literally it is so nice to go watch a movie and if no one's gonna come with me i'm gonna go watch the movie by myself is go to a concert by yourself i'm gonna do this as well why not go to a coffee shop I just read a book recently. They said in the book how they went to a coffee shop by themselves and they just tried to get off their phone for the whole entire time they were there. Like they left their phone in the car and they just people watched. That's another thing you can do by yourself. You can people watch. I love people watching. Me and one of my friends, Chloe, we literally love just going to the beach and just people watching or going to a cafe or a coffee shop by yourself, trying out new coffee or trying something new on the menu and just being by yourself. Declutter your camera roll. I know you have so many photos and screenshots that you want to get rid of. Declutter your camera roll. You kind of want to get off your phone and do other things in life, but declutter your camera roll. Watch your favorite YouTubers, whether that's me or it's someone else and just binge a whole bunch of their videos. I love doing this in my spare time. When I really don't know what to do, I will literally just binge watch all their videos. Another thing is watching your favorite TV show or re-watching your favorite TV show. I feel like a lot of people don't do this yet and you should because it's quite, it's quite good, it's quite good. I, I do like meditations. Search up a meditation on YouTube and just do a meditation. See if you like it. The other thing that you can search up on YouTube as well and do is a full body stretch. Stretch out your body. I know your muscles and your bones right now are probably aching and you are probably really sore. Write a letter, whether that's writing a letter to a loved one or writing a letter to your future self. Manifest, like I was saying before, whether that's creating a vision board or saying things out loud and doing mirror work, manifest everything that you truly desire and that you truly want out into the universe. It's proven that those people that do manifest and do say things out loud, get the things that they want. 
listen to a full album that you haven't listened to in a while. That is the end of today's video. The sun is setting, so I have to leave it there. But I hope that these tips helped you when it comes to spending more time alone with yourself. I feel like spending time alone is a very hard thing to do, but it is the first step to your self-love and your self-development journey. All the best and welcome to Jasmine Unfiltered if you're new. If you guys want more content of lifestyle, advice or travel, go follow me on Instagram. I'll pop it somewhere on the screen right now. But I will see you guys with another video very, very shortly. Bye guys. As well, don't forget to do me a favor and make someone smile today. Bye. Stay positive. I go by my head and turn it up and throw attention. <laughs> Fuck you.